my ghosts on this episode of demons row tv we break down the 10 commandments of motorcycle club culture and we get into it on this episode of demons row tv no yeah we ghosting baby Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna break it down. The 10 commandments of motorcycle club culture. Let's steer this ship in the right direction. There's so many people running around like a chicken with the head cut off. So we're gonna lay some ground rules. I'm gonna give you my top 10. And y'all will let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But these are like the 10 most important rules to being not just the MC, to just being a real human being, being a real man, a real woman if you're in a female club. The first thing I want you to do real quick though is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts shout to all the new subscribers welcome to the row and let's get into it the first commandment thou shalt own a motorcycle now you would think that this is a no-brainer but if you're in a club, or even if you're new to a club, you're a prospect, you can see that you got motherfuckers down with the clubs that don't own a motorcycle. It should go without saying, it's a motorcycle club, so you own a motorcycle. But it's not so common. A lot of people are in clubs that don't own motorcycles. Now, if a person, if, it, if it's a brother in a club that got into a bad wreck, wrecked his bike, be a real brother. Don't put him down. Let him build this shit back up, get his bread up, do whatever he has to do to get a new bike. Do not put that brother down. I'm not talking about brothers that went down. There's a lot of that that goes on in MC culture. We don't respect that. I had two surgeries. I know what it feels like when you're down and brothers looking at you like, oh, is he really like still hurt or whatever? Like that goes on in MC culture a lot. Listen, that ain't brotherhood. We don't push that. Commandment number two, never say your club's name in vain. I don't care who you grew up with, how cool y'all are, never down your club to nobody, to your family, to your brothers, nobody, because your club is your brothers. And on the same note, I'm gonna put your brothers in there. Never say your brother's name in vain. Never talk down on your brother. Always uplift your brother. If you have a problem with your brother, you tell him to his face or you say it at the table with everybody there that can mediate, but you never put a brother down. And if you're talking to your other brothers, it's okay, you can vent to your brothers. But anybody outside the circle, you never put their name down. You never let their name be heard in a negative light. Commandment number three, thou shalt never wear unearned patches. You never wear patches that you didn't earn. Let's stop this bullshit where you buy these little corny characters and you stitch them onto your cut that don't mean shit. In this culture, everything is earned, nothing is given. I, and that includes buying shit online, fake diamonds, fake 99 diamonds, fake 1% diamonds. I don't care what it is. If your club didn't sanction it, you didn't put in work to earn it, do not wear the shit. Let's hold ourselves to a higher standard. Now, if you created 
a clique within your brothers and you came up with the name and you're the OG of that, that's a different story. So you you make your little team name and that's some shit y'all wear on your side rock or whatever. That's cool, I respect that, you OG that. You, a couple of your brothers, y'all get together, y'all rock that, that's not the same thing. But buying stuff online and unearned patches, we debt in that. This year, we're gonna hold ourselves to a higher standard and uplift this culture, not bring it down and make it look corny. Commandment number four, keep the Sabbath holy, never miss church. There's gonna be situations where it has to do with work or your kids or family and you just can't make it. There will be exceptions, but try your hardest to never miss church because it doesn't matter if your brothers fill you in, they can't remember every single detail of what goes on in church. So if you miss church, you might miss out on something valuable to the progression of the club, for your safety, for anything. Commandment number five, and it's funny that it's five, cause it's concerning five O. Thou shalt not allow police in your club. Now, people might think that the not allowing police is just from a street aspect, that it has something to do with, oh, well, you commit crimes and then cops will lock you up. No, the police aspect is about loyalty. Your loyalty should be to your club and your brothers, number one. A cop takes an oath. When he steps into that life, he takes an oath. He puts his hand on the Bible or the devil's Bible, whatever the fuck the, the cops put their hand on, they take an oath to always respect and honor that position. So you cannot trust anybody who took an oath to something other than what you love and believe in. So no police in your club. And I'm telling you, I know Christian clubs that do not allow police in it. And it's for that very reason. Commandment number six, same as in the Bible, thou shalt not kill. You cannot ever, for no reason, ever kill your brother. Physically hurt your brother. Put your brother down. Kill your brother's dreams. Nothing with a killing it involving your brothers. This should go without saying. It's a brotherhood you uplift, not literally bring down. Commandment number seven, thou shalt not pillow talk. Now, people might think that this is some gossipy, small fry shit, but laying down with your old lady or your girlfriend or whoever it may be, you might trust them to the fullest. But let me tell you something, the most grimiest shit and the, and the bodies that happen in the street always are concerning pillow talk. You tell a female something, they will take what you told them and tell somebody that could potentially hurt you or potentially hurt your club. My big homie taught me this. A female, all you have to do is tell them you'll take their kids away and they will drop dime on everything about your life. Anything the police need to know, they gonna drop that on you. And not just with, with police, just pillow talking between friends. You know what I mean? Like if you if your old lady tells your brothers some of the things you're saying, that could get you jammed up. So just whatever, just keep her separate from any club business. I'm telling you to the prospects, this is very important. A lot of people think that it's nothing and it happens all the time. People pillow talk a lot and it can get you hurt. Commandment number eight, same as in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. You never steal from your brother. You never steal from anybody. Anything you get, you earn it. We're not robbers here, we are MCs. Motorcycle club, this is a men's club. We stand on being a man and men don't have to steal. Men chase the bag, men get their money, they take care of their family, they do what they gotta do. They don't steal from another brother. And if you steal from your brother or your club, do we really have to explain what's gonna happen to you? Commandment number nine, thou shall not lie. Do not lie to your brothers. 
there's no reason if you're a real man there's no reason for you to lie to another man if that man if you don't feel that man is above you there's no reason for you to be lying to him don't lie to your club don't lie about your situation to make yourself look bigger than what you really are don't lie about money don't lie about don't lie on your brother don't fabricate don't bear false witness against your brother don't tell people stuff about your brother to 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 get political sway to move higher up maybe that brother is more in favor than you and he's next up to become a vp or maybe a president you know what i mean don't try to talk that brother down lie on that brother and put him down so that you can further advance in the club because if it gets found out you're gonna get yourself caught in a bad situation just keep it funky and just always tell the truth and even if you have problems with your brothers tell them straight to their face i'm telling you a lot of people don't like to tell people shit that they don't want to hear but it's the best thing to do it's the safest thing to do and they will always respect you more because you had the real you had the nuts to tell them like yo i don't like what you're doing you know what i mean like anybody's gonna respect that more than you telling somebody else and they hear it from somebody else and then it just causes problems now number 10 the final commandment thou shalt not covet your brother's old lady I have an episode talking about old ladies. I'm gonna link that down. I go deep into depth about old ladies and motorcycle clubs. An old lady is off limits. Do not believe the gangland bullshit about passing old ladies around or whatever if you're new to the culture. If you fuck with somebody's old lady, you're gonna be laying in a pool of blood. You stay away from your brother's old lady. You stay away from your brother's wife. I mean, this goes in any type of culture and any type of in life in general. You don't go after your homie or your brother's wife. Your wives are off limits. So what I want you to do is to hit me in the comments and tell me if I missed anything. I think I'm pretty sure I covered all the major aspects. You can always nitpick, but the top 10 for me, these are the top 10 for me. And I feel like if you follow these, you'll be in good shape see if you have any in the comments let me know a commandment you could just say like slap you know like uh one dot and then say what a commandment is maybe something that you think can replace one of the other ones and is a strong commandment that should be followed in mc culture if you want to support the show if you're new to watching the show down underneath we have the merch shelf we have the demons row clothing support that shout to everybody who has been i post all the pictures on instagram 99.9 percent .9 of them i do i post most of them up shout to everybody that's been supporting the clothing i'm gonna start doing the live on the Sosta the ghost channel so follow that channel i want everybody to cross over soon within the next couple of weeks i'm gonna start doing some q a and go live i want to get more interactive i'm also launching the podcast and i'm working on my album so there's a lot of stuff going on y'all stay tuned thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment share this on your timeline and let everybody know that demons row is here to save everybody and no yeah, we ghosting, baby.